If you've never experienced hell on earth, here it is. Two of these clips stuck together. This is hell on earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap over the letters I had on my original grill. It's a base grill. And also I already had uh, some cactus gray um, overlays on those. So I want to keep those. Uh, so I'm going to show you the quickest way that I found here. So I have a 3 8 bit, and I'm going to try and get that right here in the center. You could use a punch if you uh, need to line it up a little bit better. So I'm going to just use a 3 8 just take off the top. And the way these are installed from the factory is there's uh, plastic shafts they put through here, and then they just melt them down. So you have two on it. Uh, I believe there's uh, two on every one of them except for the C over here. Um, so you have two of the shafts, and then you have one locator pin. So I've already taken these other ones off just to make sure this works the best way. So just go down a little ways with your uh, bit and then take a punch, a center punch, and I'm just smacking these to break it loose. And let's see if that was enough. Let's get it again. Yep, and I think that did it. The first thing we actually need to do is you want to transfer over this piece right here. This is actually one full piece from here, this this all right here, and this. So you're going to remove these, these Torx screws. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to reuse those screws and transfer those over uh, to your new grill. And I already did that because uh, this is the new grill, as you can see. Here's the reason you probably want to reuse the letters you have. So check out the difference in these. They look like something uh, like a cheap Lego imitation or something. Look, look at how small the slats are, the openings in the B. And you'll see also how everything's not rounded off as nicely. It's sharper edges. I mean... I mean, look at that. Now, if you just had this on your grill, you're driving around, I don't know that anybody would notice, but, you know, look at the difference in the gap here. You know, big difference. And they also sent me a Q. I'm guessing, or a P. I, I don't know what, bron bronchio? Maybe, I, I don't know what, what the deal with that is. And then a couple extra letters for, just for good measure there. Um, so this grill came with, uh, came with clips though, to go over the retainers that snap in. I was planning on just reusing the ones on, uh, on my original grill, but I'm gonna compare these and if they uh, look exactly the same, I'm just gonna use those. And they came with uh, a bunch of smaller screws here. And so, how, how these letters are supposed to install instead of the melted is they just have posts on them and they're going to go behind your grill and then you're going to use these screws. So they'll just fit behind there and then you'll put a screw in each one of these holes. So they all have two except for your C, you know, has the, the three there. Um, so what we're doing is after we've uh, got our original letters out of there, you want to basically drill a hole in those posts to make them like the ones that came with it. Um, and then you, and then you're going to put our screws in. And so it's going to be the same way that those were made to install on this aftermarket grill. We're going to just basically replicate that. And the cool thing is if, uh, if you do drill these out and, and use a punch, like I showed you, don't, don't hit them too hard. If you do hit them too hard, you run the you run the risk of bending that post. If you don't bend that post, the nice thing is these things can just slide actually right up in there. So let's see if I can do this one-handed here. So we got the O, and it actually just fits right up in there. And if we look on the other side, there's no gap. So it's actually the posts have fit up inside those holes. And 
sorry about that. And we're going to drill drill those posts out so we can use those screws that this other one came with. So I went ahead and found a, a drill bit that fits right inside these. And then I'm going to use that to drill down. I also marked the depth. And you'll see I put a piece of tape there. So use that tape and then when I drill out our original letters, that way I'll know how deep to go. I don't want to go you know, through the face of it, obviously. And you just go down as deep as your tape is. Next we have our R. And as you can see, these stick up a little bit past because they're able to, the posts here actually stick up a little bit past the sides because they're able to go up in the holes. And then you have your locator pin, which will help you make sure you don't put uh, the wrong O in the wrong spot. So that's up in there pretty good. So we're going to want to hold that there, make sure it stays. And we have the drill, and uh, like I said, uh, I have the bit marked, so I can't go too deep. So just try and line that up in the middle there. And start off slow so you can get it going in the middle. Just down to, you get to your marking tape. You don't need to put any pressure, just, just let the drill bit do the work. Okay. Now, let's get a screw here. Just so you know, this is what dining room tables are really for. They're for doing projects inside the house in the comfort of your own home. All right, one there. Let's get our other one here. And you want it you want that hole deep enough in there and so that it can go all the way down and just start to pull that letter up. All right, and there you can see, got it on there, no gaps around the sides. Now, a little tip, if, if you have some of these posts that are kind of big or they're kind of messed up from when you drilled them, and uh, smacked them with a punch to knock them out. What you can do is you can take a drill bit that's a little bit bigger than the hole and just round that hole out of there. And that way your post that might be a little gnarled on the top will fit in there. So these are a little, a little skinnier here, but I'll go ahead and show you I'm drilling these out here. So we have it all lined up. Like I said, not much pressure. Let the Drill bit, do the work. Okay, so I have those drilled out. Let's get some screws. Make sure you don't over tighten these since they're going into plastic and that plastic is pretty thin walled, especially on this letter. Okay. Get all of our plastic shavings out of the way. You know, if this doesn't uh, work or you break one of the posts, you can always use some glue. And they make good glue for plastics. Uh, you even have a, an epoxy if you wanted to use an epoxy, but it uh, might be overkill for this. Okay, easy enough. Once you get good at this, you can also just drill this out, holding it in your hand. Just be careful not to go too deep. That's what somebody said. You 
can see how thin wall that is though. So this would be one of those instances where you may want to do it in your hand if you're worried about going on the outsides and uh, or uh, breaking that wall of that is what I'm trying to say. After a thorough scientific analysis of these clips, they are exactly the same as the OAM ones, except a different color. So we're gonna go ahead and use these so we can just keep the other ones on the other grill and uh, just slide those down on there. So we're gonna go around and do that to all of your tabs. And by the way, this grill did not come with any directions whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna try and fit this on here. You have your long locator pins, and there's two of these on each side. So those are gonna be one of the main things you wanna try and get lined up. There's also some uh, pins down here in the bottom. We have all of our clips on here. So let's start here with this side. And then we're gonna get our locator pins in. It's hard to see if they're all in there or not, but it kind of curves a little bit. So you kind of have to push that corner down a little bit to get it in there. So before we push any more pins in, let's go on to the side over here and you kind of need to pull and curve this corner in here some. Locator pins are in. Okay. And you can see through the hole here and get all these lined up. All right, they're all clipping in. Okay, looks like everything's in. We're good. All right, here is the final finished product. Looks pretty good. No problems uh, with fitment. I just need to clean it off and wipe it down. But uh, our method worked pretty good on the letters. You'd never know that uh, these didn't come with it. You'd never know probably that this isn't a factory grill unless you uh, did some side-by-side -side comparison probably. So hope this helps some of you out. If you're going to be adding a grill and swapping your letters, if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to check out some of the other videos. I'll be putting up videos as often as I can. As soon as I have parts coming in, I'll try and get them up to you. And if you have any questions, comments, just put them down below. And I will share some links down there to uh, these grills. Uh, if I can find any there are good deals on these. Like I said, I purchased this one from eBay, but their ship time and everything was uh, kind of ridiculous. So I'll uh, see if I can find a link to one of these with a little bit better ship time and help you out if you're wanting to upgrade. Cheers.